friends and family, and welcome to our Rejoice Digital Christmas Pageant. Thank you for your willingness to be creative, flexible, and supportive of our Rejoice family during this interesting season in the life of our world and church. May our efforts to celebrate the Prince of Peace, even as we socially distance, usher in a time of renewal and hope for the coming year. Please pray with me. Gracious God, we give you thanks for technology this morning so that we might gather together as a church family to celebrate the coming birth of your son, Jesus Christ. Open our hearts, God, as we hear your story from our children this morning. May the new way of worship be filled with grace and patience as we learn together that you are present in the midst of all of us, no matter what situation we're in. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends, I have just received word that the donkeys have been fed and the lambs have finished nursing. So that means it is time to start our show. angelic choir. What a beautiful noise. The faithful have gathered indeed. We begin with the nativity story as told in the gospel writings of Luke and Matthew. Let us listen together as we hear from those who were there. Okay. In those days the decree went out and all said should be registered. So they, they went to their hometowns to be registered. I, Joseph, went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, because I was a descendant from the house and family of David. I went to be registered with Mary, to whom I was engaged and who was expecting a child.
of the Lord said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people to see. To you is born this day in the city of David, his Savior, he is the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and laying in a man manger. Suddenly, there, there was, was a multitude of the heavenly host praising, praising God. And saying, and saying, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest heaven, heaven, and on earth, peace among those whom He favors, and peace among those whom He favors. saw this, we made known that what had been told to us about this child, all, and all who heard it were amazed at how, at what we told them. But I, Mary, treasured all these words and pondered them in my heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it has been told them as I had experienced. of King Harold after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea. We wise people from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. We set out and there ahead of us we went the stars we had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. We, When we saw that the star had stopped, we were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, we saw the child with Mary, his mother, and we knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening our treasure chest, we offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
well, there you have it. The most amazing story the world had ever heard. An untimely journey to Bethlehem. A new mother having to give birth away from home and without proper housing. And somehow, in the midst of all of this, the hope of the world is born. I don't know about you, but Christmas came just in time for me this year. That yearly reminder that love wins, hope reigns, and that the power to change the world resides in the innocence and compassion of our children. A Christmas pageant indeed, perhaps the greatest digital Christmas pageant ever. Let us pray. Dear Lord, in this holy season of Advent, the season of prayer and song and laughter, we praise you for the great wonders you have sent us, for a shining star and angel songs, for an infant's cry in a lowly manger. We kneel before you as shepherds, innkeepers, wise ones. Help us to rise bigger than we are and spread your story of Christmas for this Christmas season and always. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. It was a pleasure to worship together with you. May the joy of Christmas warm your hearts this year.